Hey, my name is Jesus Castellón. and in this video you are going to learn how to solve the balance parenthesis problem. So what are balance parentheses? Well, I have two strings here. One has balance parentheses and the other doesn't. So balance parentheses means that you have the same number of opening parentheses than closing parentheses and that the opening parentheses come before the closing parentheses. So what that means is that we can simply count them. So we can simply say, oh, we have two, two openings and two closing and two closing parentheses. So this is balanced. That's not enough because the order matters. So let's take a look at the unbalanced example. We have a closing parenthesis before an opening parenthesis, and that automatically makes this unbalanced parenthesis because you can't close a parenthesis before you open it, right? So I'm going to write a method that is going to return true for the balanced parenthesis string and it's going to return false for the unbalanced parenthesis string. Let's do that. First, what I want to do is to go over every single character and what my strategy is going to be is to keep track of how many opening parentheses we have found and then we, when we find a closing parenthesis, we will remove that opening parenthesis from our list of, or our count of openings. So let's start with the first step, which is to go over each character. So let's do this with a loop. And I'm using the do end instead of curly brackets because this is the convention for multi-line blocks. Each car is how you can take a string and go over every character and we can verify that by printing the character and then calling the method balance. And as you can see, we get every individual character. So when you're working with loops, one thing I always like to recommend is that you print the value so you make sure that you're working with the right value, especially if you have multiple parameters or arguments in your block, because sometimes you can have the order wrong or the input is not what you expected or something like that. And why are we going over every character because that's the first step towards the solution. This kind of coding challenges and real world coding problems, you solve them step by step or layer by layer. You don't solve everything in one step, unless it's a very trivial thing. Now, let's make progress and the next step is to check what kind of character we're working with. So let's use a case statement for that or case expression. So case character, then when the character, this what that means when the character is this equal to this value, then we do something. And when the character is equal to this other value, then we do something else. What do we want to do here? Well, like I said, the strategy is to keep track of the opening parentheses. So one way to do that is to use a counter, like an integer, so we could do opening equals zero, and then we increase this and decrease this as we find opening and closing parentheses. But I like to use a stack here because you can learn about how a stack works by doing it that way. So let's put the character into the stack when we find opening and then we pop the stack. 
So when you pop the stack, you're removing one element from the stack. So in this case, the stack is just an array and we're adding and removing elements from it. That's what you do with a stack. Now that we have this, we need to return true or false. Well, by default, it's going to be true, meaning we went over every character and we didn't find an, an imbalance parenthesis. So now we need to return false. When is this false? Well, it's false when we find this case. When we don't have any opening characters, I mean, we don't have any opening parenthesis to go with the closing parenthesis. So we're going to check if the stack is empty and then let's write an if statement for this. So return false if stack is empty. So now if I run this code, we get true, just like we expected because this is a balance string. And now let's try the same with the unbalance string. Now if I run the unbalance, we get false because that's indeed an unbalanced string and that's what we expected. So true for the balance, false for the unbalance. So this looks like this is working. I really like this because you can learn a few things from here. You can learn about the case expression. You can learn about how to work with stack and stack operations are pop, empty, and push. And you can work, you can learn how to go over every individual character of a string with each car. So that's it. That's the solution to the balance parenthesis challenge or exercise, whatever you want to call this. I hope you found this useful and interesting. If you did, please click the like button for me so I know that you like this video. If you want to keep learning, watch more of my videos now. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and visit my website rubyguides.com thanks a lot for watching i will see you in the next video